well, well, here we are. <laughs> Immediately just sat next to carnivores. Alright, um, well, hey everyone. How you doing today? My name's Bearded Puma. It's been a long time since I've done, since I've done anything arc related. And well, today I figured I'd do a start video. So like, kind of like, you know, your first day in, on the arc. Which, first thing you want to do when you get on the arc is start punching wood. Uh, this is a single player playthrough. Uh, so it isn't, it isn't on a server. It is just me. Uh, the one thing that I do recommend is there's so many ichthys. I'm not going that way. But start on a single player. If it's your first time playing Ark, just, or if you're just returning, start on single player. You will struggle to get the settings kind of working for you to get like smooth frame rate and everything like that. It's kind of a pain, but I, I don't know. If you need help with that, I can try to help. But anyway, we're just going to start punching some wood. I have the uh, harvest rate times two because early game getting fiber is brutal. I, I don't know how else to say it. I don't have anything else uh, multiplied at all, so the experience I'm getting is going to be the basic experience. Everything else, the taming rate, everything is very basic. So, what we're going to be doing is we got our pickaxe. Let's go ahead and go into our inventory. I hit I for inventory. I'm on keyboard. Uh, the way that I typically do it is I hit V and then I just click on our actual keyboard. Uh, you can mouse over and then press your hotkey that you want to assign the pickaxe to. Which, I mean, I just did one. So go ahead and pull that out. This is how we're actually going to be getting thatch a lot faster. And also how we're going to be getting flint a lot faster. There are two different types of resources that you get. Uh, let's go ahead and get our axe and our spear made real quick. Let's go ahead and go back to our crafting. So, with uh, your pickaxe, you're if you're hitting wood, you're going to be getting mostly thatch. If you're hitting rock, you're going to be getting either metal or flints, depending on the type of rock you're hitting. Other than that, let's go ahead and go back into our inventory. We're just going to mouse over the axe and hit two. So if we go up to a tree now, instead of getting a lot of thatch, we're going to get wood. We'll still get a little bit of thatch, but mostly, mostly, mainly wood. And then, of course, we do need a lot of fiber, and that is why I'm at two times gather rate. Just because fiber sucks to get. With that done, we can go ahead and start crafting some spears. I always recommend getting about three spears. I'm just hitting the activate button, which is E. You could hit um, on keyboard. I, I I don't know what it is on console, I'm sorry. But hit A if you want to make as many as you can. E to just make one. Uh, we got things currently eating next to us. So let's go ahead and pull out our little pike here. Spear, I guess. Right trigger to hold it down. And then you can left click to not throw it. <laughs> I think you just just release it. Yeah, you just let go and then you can throw the spear. Uh, when you do walk up to the body, you will automatically pick the spear back up and you'll see it go back into your uh, hot slot inventory. But while we're hitting animals, we're going to be getting a hide if we hit him with the axe and we'll be getting more meat if we hit him with the pickaxe. Watch out. Actually, we got a lot of hide still from that. But that's going to be the two main things that we're going to be getting. Uh, luckily, there's a lot of herbivores around here. I'm not seeing anything kind of like running. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can start crafting. Uh, actually, no, let's go into our levels. Do, 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 do. I think I just started. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, so these are our engrams right here. This is what we're going to be actually ticking off to be able to make our stuff. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of clothing. Get a storage chest too. We got 22 left still. Then get a slingshot that way we can tame a sleeping bag we can do a roof a wall and a door we're gonna need to get a campfire too we're going to need to get a campfire too but we'll do that a little bit later uh, with our next level which we'll get just probably from uh crafting up everything that we need to make ourselves a first base which honestly this little ridge kind of thing right here might be a great spot for just an uh, initial starter base. Just right here. Nice little view of the water. I think that is away from where we're actually... Yeah, it is. So behind us is where we actually need to go. On the other side of this giant thing in front of us is going to be a giant landmass that is the center. So this is just one of the starting areas, but... Anyway, 
Let's go ahead and uh, just keep gathering up some fiber. I'm going to use the pickaxe to hit the trees to get more thatch. And then I'll pull you guys back in in a second. We're crafting everything right now so we can go ahead and place it all. So we got to wait for all this to get done. And we are slowly, you know, you're slowed down when you are crafting. But the next thing I'm going to do since I did level up is go ahead and put one more point into health for now. And then we're going to go down to where our bolas are. We cannot get a bully yet. Okay, so when we do get to level 9, which might happen after we, we finish up this crafting, we're going to make ourselves a bola that way we can pin one of these parasaurs and tame one of them. We'll go over our, how to do your first tame. Alright, but for now we're going to go ahead and just start placing everything down here. So you can, once you hit left click or initiate, you can go ahead and move it around with the mouse. Like left and right, of course, does that. Up and down puts like the, the height of everything. And then we're just going to click again to set. And then just do it again to once it's snapped in. So as you can see, it kind of snaps. If it snaps when you click, it just gets put in. If you don't have it snapped, that's when you can... So I got to make sure he's not being chased by a raptor. I don't think he is. All right, the parasaur over there is making me nervous because, you know, if you see something running, like I said, they're clearly running from something. And I got all my stuff hockeyed, and we're just going to go ahead and do that. We'll hit R and make ourselves a window right there. Door, 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 door. Oh, I'm saying door. Those are walls, but you know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and actually do the door. I hit E. That flipped it. So I hit E again to put it back the normal direction. Now we're going to do our ceilings. I Okay, if you hit something that you've used all of, which I accidentally hit five instead of six, it's going to make another one that's in that slot. So now we have just a random wall that we don't have. So we're going to go ahead and take that out of our hockey. Just click on these to remove them. That way we don't fat finger those two. Just kind of taking a look. I don't... Yeah, yeah. Nothing else is running. So it was probably just a... I don't know, like a... I want to say a Dillo, but I don't even see a Dillo. I don't know what that Parasaur is running from. In the meantime, we did get another level. So let's go ahead and apply it. We need one more before we can do our Bola. So to get that, we're just going to run around and start attacking things. Now we're going to need a lot of hide, so go ahead and... It, it sucks to do, but take care of the creatures that are around you. The easy ones, you got the Dodos and the Listros like this, like I said. We're going to focus just on the Listro for now. And then, of course, my spear just broke. Once your spear is broken, it is gone. Unlike your pickaxe or your axe, you can repair those. You'll have to make more spears to replace. That's why I always make three. Just to have, you know, because sometimes I'll actually break in just a couple of hits. But, so just be careful with that. Yeah, he's running for me. That should be enough to get us what we needed, I thought. We're about halfway through for experience. Don't need too much more. Go ahead and put our bed down just in case something bad does happen. Sleeping bag we got out of the out of the leather. But well, we made out of leather. I hit E too many times, so there we go. Alright. Alright, so now we have our sleeping bag down. We have our door, which you can just hit E in your inventory to activate what you're currently mossed over. I There you go. So let's go ahead and look through our Let's see if there's anything else we can take right now that we can start crafting. An actual bed is always a good thing to have. So a sleeping bag, once you use a sleeping bag, it, it's used. Like if I die and come back to that sleeping bed, that sleeping bag, that sleeping bag will just disappear. A bed, however, can be used multiple times, but it will be on cooldown if you die a lot really, really fast. So be careful with that. Another thing that's actually really, really useful is going to be a chest. So let's go and get some Thatcher inventory, and then we'll use our axe to finish it off. This. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and make ourselves our first chest. It's uh, just a small chest. It doesn't really do anything for you. Just storage box is what it's actually called. Let's go ahead and go inside. We're going to hit I to open inventory and just hit E on the box itself. And I... I'm used to, there's other survival games where you hit E to put stuff down. Just click. Alright, so we're good there. We still need a little bit more experience, so we're going to go ahead and start killing some dodos. There we go. Alright, with that, let's go ahead and put one point into stamina. We'll start getting that up. And we'll go down to our bullets. 
So now we can craft bolas. Let's go ahead and get two, I guess one of those. We don't have enough fiber. Like I said, fiber is going to be the thing that you're, you're going to be wanting the most, at least to start with, For in my opinion. You go through fiber so quick because you need it for literally everything. Alright, so take one more bola just to be safe. Let's go ahead and equip that and equip that. So we got 40 rocks with us. That's what we're going to be using to knock things out. As soon as we hit one of these parasaurs, they will all flee if they're close by. Uh, let's see. We got a level 25, as I say. Yeah, 25. I didn't mean to punch. Yo, never mind. It's not bugged. It just didn't work. So he is currently bullet. You can see in his legs. And we're just going to start flinging some rocks in his face. This is uh, not the nicest thing to do, but easiest way. And as soon as he drops, we're going to stop. Well, she, I'm so sorry. As soon as she drops, we're going to go ahead and stop firing. Take a little bit, and you can kind of see the sides of her getting a little bloody as she takes more damage. There we go. All right. So we're good. She's down. Let's go ahead and go into our inventory, and we're going to put some berries inside. That way she has some food. So you can see the little, like, fuchsia. I don't know, magenta, whatever that color is. That's going to be the trank like tranquility. The torpidity is what it's called in the actual creature down here. If that empties up, then that means it's going to wake up. You have to use narco berries, which this right here. And then, of course, tranks, which we'll get into later. The gold bar is going to be the actual tame. So as the parasaur is going to get hungry with the food right here, it will eat some of the berries to get that back up. So we'll give that a little bit of time to tame up. And that is just going to help us get berries faster, really. Parasaurs can also do like a little sonar ability that kind of tells you if enemies are around, so. Okay, yeah, we just got Dilos. The tail from this far away with like how the game looks, it looked like a raptor tail, so it kind of scared me. Not gonna lie, but we could actually tame a raptor right now. We could probably tame these Dilos as well. Because they'll actually chase me. And then I have raw meat, so let's go ahead and just, uh, let's tame them up. Let's get some... Minor defense, that's a perfect shot. You see that? You can use a bullet if you want, but these do not run that fast. So yeah, they go down pretty easily too. Just don't get hit by the poison, it does slow you down and blind you. Alright, if they start running, that means they're about to be knocked out. So just hit them a couple more times, and they should go down. This one's down over here, only level 5, nice and easy. We're going to hold Shift and T, that's going to put half of the stack over. Now go to this guy here, we'll do another half stack. They don't need that much to tame up. And we'll go, see that one's almost already tamed up completely. And we'll let them chill. So that's two more Dilos and our Parasaur is about halfway done as well. This is actually not a bad start really. I mean, definitely don't have any clothing quite yet, but we might be able to make some. Just need some fiber. I mean, we got our crappy box of a base first set up here, which isn't too bad. At least we have a spot that we can like rest at night. Uh, let's go ahead and put our camp. We should be able to make a campfire now, right? Again, hit V to open the crafting menu. And we need some stone and some thatch, which really easy to get. Let's go over to a tree with the pickaxe. And we got our thatch. Let's go ahead and just clear the tree out, pull out our axe. And then go to the stone and we'll get some rock. Or stone, whatever you want to call it. Rock and stone, baby. Alright, with that done, the Parasaur is now tamed. We will come back to a name later. And yep, I was about to say, both the Dilos should be ready as well. So, let's go ahead and go to our... There we go, campfire is what I was going to say. Let that go to craft up. Then we'll just hit E on it and we'll put this right in front of our house. Throw some wood inside, we'll do shift T to throw half the stack, and we'll throw the rest of the meat, and light fire. Alright, and we're currently crying because we're thirsty. Not quite hungry yet. We got food cooking in the fire now with the meat, but luckily all we have to do for water is... Their salt water is not a thing in this game, <laughs> luckily. So we can just run straight into the ocean and just hit the E button and drink some water. I know you have to hit the E button, I might just be able to run in the... yeah. If you just run in the ocean, you just start drinking. And then that little flashy star that you see on the top, on the, well, 
on the right hand bottom side that is our torpidity that's just saying our torpidity is going up be careful if it goes too high we get knocked out t so if you look at your dino and press t he'll come over to you he'll start following you our name is just human because i forgot to name myself so welcome to the human channel i guess i have to change it from beauty puma so we're gonna pull them over they still have meat on them which we have to make sure that our carnivores have meat he's got 16 She's got five. Not the most meat, but we'll go ahead and hook them up a little bit later. We got berries on the Parasaur, and we're going to hit you. And that's going to tell everything to stop following us. They are currently on, uh, I think it's neutral is what they are on. But if I get attacked, they will attack back. Or if they get attacked, they will attack back. We got everything kind of going. We got our we got our fire going. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some clothing. Let's go back into our engrams, and let's get ourselves... We need some shoes, man. We don't need shoes, but... No free feet here. Uh, fiber. Always, always going to need fiber. Alright, let's go ahead and make our shoes real fast. And... Boom. We're good to go. Alright. Let's go ahead and go back into our Ingrams real fast. We did get a level. Let's go ahead and allocate that. That way we get the points. We'll do one more in... Uh, weight because we're going to need a lot of carry weight. I definitely want a mortar and pestle but for now I want this. Oh I can do that too. That's our narcotics that I'm talking about. We'll get into that later like I said but for now let's go ahead and see what we need to make ourselves a parasaur saddle. Was it fiber hide and wood? How much wood do I? Well like I said I put everything away so let's go back into our inventory here. Ooh. Okay, so we need more fiber, we need more hide. Let's go ahead and start collecting. We could probably take that parasaur down over there. That'll give us a good amount of fiber. Which, easiest way to do that is going back to our bolas. Use that. Put them in spot. And start attacking. It's kind of sad. You will feel bad. Oh, and pickaxe. Okay, not pickaxe, a spear broke. But there we go. All right, we should be getting a good amount, not a lot, but a good amount of uh, hide from this, and that should bridge the gap. Cool, it did. All right, we just need 10 more fiber. Let's go ahead and find ourselves a little bush. Perfect. All right, and Parasaur Saddle. So we'll start making our way to our Parasaur, and we'll actually have our first mounted dino as well. This is going way too smooth for an arc run. Typically you would have died like four times by now. Yeah, here's our first uh, little dino. So right click here is our sonar that I was talking about. If there's any, I was trying to see if there was any, but yeah, if there's any like hostiles, anything that's hostile towards you, that'll highlight them. We'll give it like a little red blip that you can actually see on your screen. But yeah, we got nothing that's actually threatening us. So nothing to worry about. Uh, we don't get fiber from a para. What we do get is berries. And I guess we can get thatch too. They're good at getting thatch. And pooping. Wait, did I see that? That like smashes into the ground now instead of staying into a ball. I haven't played Ascended yet, so this is all new to me. Yeah, this is going to be how we're going to get our berries. It's where you're going to get your narco berries. And that's how we're going to start up our... Uh, well, our Trank production. And it's actually a really good way to level up to is take your dinos out and just start hitting stuff. Uh, if you hit F, you go into your dinos inventory. So this is everything that they currently have on them. And you can actually upgrade their stuff as well. So it's the weight going just in case we do go out and get a lot of berries to come back to. Yeah, yeah, they get all happy when you level them up. And you can also level up their speed if you have the setting turned on, which I definitely do. But we're going to hit E, jump off. And yeah, that's kind of it. So this is a pretty decent start, actually. We got some meat and... Yeah, I mean... Go ahead and eat a couple of those. And we're looking good. So... This is definitely a very blessed arc start. Typically, like I said, you'd run into raptors on the beach and stuff like that and they'd kill you. That's not to say it's not going to happen, but this is a pretty start, uh, safe place to start, I guess, so... 
the island that is to the south is a place where I died like 15 times when I first tried to make a video before I was like, okay, maybe I don't want to do this today. So, start up here if you want a safer run. <laughs> All right, well, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I will be doing more of this as well and turning it into just a series where I just play around and have fun. Uh, that's the wrong button. I wanted to press this one. Have a good day. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, uh, should I do outro stuff too? Like subscribe, like all that. Like hit the like button, hit the bell, um, all that stuff that you do. And then I guess we'll have like this right here be the thumbnail. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, thanks for listening to my babble. Take it easy, guys. Have a good night.